Growing up in WA, we lived in a war service home, so Dad was a fighter pilot in World War II. All the kids knew each other, there were probably 20 families in a street. Quintessentially those days, the cricket, footy, tennis matches were all in the street. It was very simplistic. Dad worked really hard, Mum worked really hard. That's what we knew and that's what we lived for. Dad did play for East Perth and he said, son, I think you should play at East Perth. And so under the father-son rule, we went and played at East Perth. So I played 50 games at the time. Mum and Dad get a phone call from a couple of footy clubs uh, saying we think your son can play a little bit. Would he be interested in coming and playing the VFL with our club? Well, when I moved to Melbourne, it was an adventure. Living by myself, uh, had to cook, wash, iron, all those sorts of things, train three nights a week, work during the day. So my life changed very quickly. We bought our first home in a suburb called West Meadows, which was three kilometres from Tullerine Airport. So to actually have your own house, and live in it and mow the lawns, you know, all those sorts of things, paint things. Our first home, $38,000. And we sold it two years later for $38,500. So I've always been really good at real estate. Best days of my life. You just understand that you're in a very successful club and you're a very small part of that club and they wanted you to actually build the club to be better. And until I left, I thought, I'm just a very lucky bloke to be a part of this. In my 10th year, things were starting to sort of just get a bit flat and I thought, let's go back home. Good time to get back home, bring the kids up in Perth and go back and play with East Perth. So mid pole of that year, uh, Richard Collis, who was one of the five people who actually were funding the licence for a club to come out of WA to play in the VFL, rang me and said, oh, well, this is actually pretty serious, we're going to field a team. Would you like to be a part of that? And if so, can you actually help organise a lot of the expats living in Melbourne to would discuss the opportunity to do that? So I thought, yeah, perfect. Thing it would never happen. Running out on the ground in March 87, you're going, how, how good is this? We struggled a bit through the course of the game, but we won it. The kick from Lindenning. It's a great reflection and a wonderful feeling to actually say, well, you're a small part of what is now a magnificent ship, which is the West Coast Eagles. We could live in Melbourne again, but Perth's always my home. Where we live, I think we'll probably live there for a little bit longer. All the services there, there's buses, there's the beach, there's a shopping centre, the local deli, the backyard for the, the young ones. There's, um, it, it ticks all the boxes. The best piece of advice about living today is live within your means. Don't try and be like the neighbour or someone else's friend who's got this or that. Enjoy what you can afford and live that way. And just be happy. Smile. To see us now here at Mineral Resources Park, you think, how the hell did we get here? We have the best connection of any sporting club in Australia with our community. So living and working here, this is our home. Right place.